the big G. This is actually my third video with the G class, which tells you a thing or two about our committed relationship and a fair amount of admiration I have for this car. This is Mercedes AMG G63. And I say, let's hit the road, shall we? Right, I say, let's turn this thing on, shall we? And give it a little tinkle. So the exhaust pipes are on the side, which means when you open the window, you can actually hear, hear it really well. This is just a warm up in comfort mode. Four litre bi turbo V8 engine. That's its job. But let's pop you into Sport Plus. That's much better. The engine pumps are glorious. 585 horsepower. 850 newton meters of torque and it's a proper badass it is a gangster vehicle so let's begin with the launch control shall we the declared 0 to 100 is only 4.5 seconds let's pop you into sport plus i've got a passenger with me magdalena <laughs> let's hope she survives you hear the scream <laughs> and boom <laughs> and you can just see the front of lifting and you can hear this v8 scream that sounds magnificent simply and the good thing we've got the nine speed automatic gearbox that actually matches the engine's action because it is quick very very quick and very smooth and it matches my heavy right foot and certainly <laughs> this heavy cookies action. So we know if we want to be quick, we certainly can. But if I refer back to the old G-Class, you see, this is a whole different world. This car drives in such a beautiful manner. Potholes, speed bumps, absolutely no worries. If there is, a slight wobble it gets smoothed out very very quickly you really get this smooth lovely and charming mercedes-benz ride anyway let's pop you into comfort mode and settle down a little bit the seats are super lush they're so comfortable and soft and i'm glad they're not black like every other car out there the steering wheel is actually fairly quick and you can turn it and the car actually does what you tell it to do unlike the previous g-class its reaction was rather well questionable surprisingly um, the g-class isn't too difficult to maneuver around town in and out of car parking places not a problem it looks big but actually it isn't that big of a car but uh, most important is that you feel like number one. And in fact, you probably are number one in this car. And how does it feel to be a passenger in the G-Class? Well, actually, it is just as luxurious back here as it is in the front. Plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. We've got the seat cooling, perfect for the hot and sweaty summer. Yeah, well, Mercedes-Benz class, that's all I've got to say. necessarily help your street relationships and I come across as arrogant well that wouldn't be a first and last time I've done it but I'm not ashamed to say this is the sexiest box on wheels and I'm not ashamed to drive it and you know why because under this noise under this sort of flashy shell this is a masterpiece of a machine it's like a woman that's beautiful but she's got a lot going on. So I couldn't resist not going off-road, which is going to give it a little tinkle, see how it's going. I do have just a normal road tire, so let's see. Let's move on, shall we? Well, Big G, we're gonna give you another chance. Yeah, 
That's not looking too good, is it? Oopsie daisy. Oh well, I even managed to get stuck, so we have to put the reverse in and just get this thing down. <laughs> Let's hope we're not going to capsize. Oh, big G. Oh well, the good news is that I did not kill myself. Moral of the story is you need off-road tires. And you, big G, belong, well, a bit of a show-off as well. The G-Class is so capable, which is why we want it so badly. It is no chicken off-road, unlike many SUVs out there. It is essentially a supercar, it is a limousine, it is a kick-ass off-roader all-in-one. And I never quite understood why would you want to purchase an SUV from, let's say, Lamborghini. Perhaps I'm missing something, you tell me, but let's be honest, the G-Class is pretty satisfying and this is all happening in the beloved comfort mode <laughs> yeah, it makes me pretty happy so safe to say the g-class actually has got no competition some say that the land rover defender is its competitor really yeah, not really. Certainly, it is a strong competition when it comes to off-road capacity, but everything else, yeah, not really. I am selfish, I am flawed, but I can love. But really, there are no shortcomings in this car. Yes, we do have the vertical windscreen, which means as you pick up quite a bit of speed, and I'm talking quite a bit of speed on the Model Y, you will get some wind noise. I mean, you can't overcome the physics. But eventually, the human mind is conditioned to bitch sooner or later. So actually, yeah, no, there are no shortcomings in this car. Perhaps the price, but only from a personal perspective. So the starting price in the USA is 156,000 American dollars. In the UK, we're looking at about 143,000 pounds. But it is absolutely blooming worth it, says the peasant. Right, but as we practice professional journalism, let's have a look at the fuel economy. So Mercedes is declaring 13 litres. Yes, oh dear, 13 litres. I'm not sure how Mercedes measured that, where Mercedes measured that, and who was driving. Perhaps an individual whose nearest future belongs in a funeral home. Could be that. You're looking at an average of about 20 litres, and when you want to have a little bit of fun, 20, 30, and it just goes up and up but the good news is that mercedes is no longer putting us in denial because we can see the actual consumption here unlike in the previous generation when you could only see i think nothing above 20. well i can just hear the green people screaming their heads off falling into some sort of a hysteria it's coming and when it does it always gets ugly but you see when you purchase a car like this you don't give a toss about its fuel economy what you do care about is the range. We've got a massive tank, 96 liters. How long this will last you? Well, depends what shit you're up to driving this car. And I've got some bonus truck in the front of me now. Oh. Truck and truck, two trucks together. Well, time to say goodbye. Amongst many Mercs, the G-Class is still ever so unique. No rules apply here. It's either you hate it or you love it. As for me, well, it is love all the way. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.